Hey guys, it's Dan the British Gamer here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can get level 100 smithing in Skyrim, so let's begin. Hey guys, and welcome. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to head to Markarth, and just to the right, upper right of Markarth, you will find the first mine that we're going to head to. You can just see it's on the map now, there it is. This mine, you want to go ahead and locate yourself and get yourself to this mine. I'm just going to fast travel as I've already, <clears throat> I've already located it, so once you get to this part, you want to fight off some Forsworn that will appear here. You want to head up this path, and when you he as you're heading up this path that you can see me following, you turn to your right, and you can see this little pathway that you want to head up to. And you'll walk up to this archway, you just want to head underneath said archway, and you should come up on the mine entrance. So let's just go ahead and head in there. So we're in there, all you want to do is go through the entirety of this cave, collecting all the gold ore that is available to you. There are pickaxes in in this little area for you to pick up, so you can mine all this. There is also Forsworn around the area, so have your sword at the ready, or your bow, or your magic, however you have decided to build your character. You can see me showing a few areas that you can mine some gold ore, however I've already done it. So let's head over to the next mine. Next one is just by Riften. Just to the right of Riften is the Lost Prospect Mine, which is the one we're going to be heading to. Now, before you do this, you're going to need to go into the storyline a bit. So here's the entrance to the story to the mine. So in the in like the first two quests into the storyline, you unlock the shelf, which allows you to move at a fast speed. And it's like a certain direction. It allows you to move quite quickly. Sorry about the loading screen. I forgot to edit it out. Oh well. Um. But once we're in here, so we're in, you want to head straight through. Do not mine any gold, there is no gold in this area. You come up to this area where the waterfall is. Um, you want to walk up to the table and jump up onto the table, then hop onto this little fire stand to the left of it. And you want to equip the shout that it's, I believe it's called Whirlwind. Um, yeah, there you go, Whirlwind Sprint. You want to equip that and look over at the fountain, or whatever you want to call it, and activate that shout. And once you walk through there, um, you'll walk around and then you'll see this area will be full of gold ore. Unfortunately, I've mined it all. And yeah, so once you've done, once you've got that, you want to head out. So now I'm going to head to White Run, and we're going to go through with this. So you want to first walk up to this smelter and smelt yourself as much gold as you can. From this method, you should have collected, from both mines, you should have collected probably a good 50 pieces maybe, that's a bit optimistic, but maybe a bit, about 50 pieces of gold and you want to go to your crafting and you want to craft lots of gold rings so you get two gold rings per gold ingot and you can see it levels you up quite quick to the majority, I'm nearly level 57 so the mines replenish every 14 days, I don't claim to be so every 14, just wait a few days, maybe get a bed, you can wait quite, like, you can sleep quite quickly in them if you've got a house, and yeah, so you can wait 14 days and the mines will replenish, or you could play the game, now you can see from this method I've got 36 gold rings, which is a, a lot of money, and you can see I've got 20k. So guys, thanks for watching this first method, um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.